Hi, you might have faced the challenge of not being able to recover your Apple laptop. It's pretty frustrating, obviously. However, there are a few things we could do to restore and to access the files. Let's see what these things, these solutions indeed are. First, we would probably need to reset the system management controller of the computer. That is responsible for the, let's say, display lid, the battery, the keyboard lights, and so on. I here have my laptop, which is a MacBook Pro 2011. It's pretty old. Oh, it's, it's not working right now. A few days ago, in the morning, when I tried to start it up, it didn't happen. I actually tried several times uh, trying to restart it. I performed a number of operations on it. But then I found the problem is in, in the hardware, and it has nothing to do with the software. Still, before you could get to that point, you would need to do these operations the system management controller. You could simply check whether it's working properly. You need to reset it. To reset the SMC, you could do a simple thing, disconnecting the battery. If you could have access to that. If you look at uh, my computer, um, at the back of this, this computer, there's a cover. Let me uh, show that to you. This. There are little screws. You could simply disconnect the battery and uh, installing it again. And then when you hit the power button, it gets started up if that is because of SMC. Another way to reset the SMC, you need to press Shift, Control, and Alt for option. And uh, then hold down power button and wait for 10 seconds. Then release the keys. Okay, now if you uh, hit the button, the power button, it might get started up if the problem is because of the SMC. This is solution number one. Solution number two is a reset to the second reset and that is called NVRAM non-volatile random access memory which is a memory actually and uh, it stores uh, settings that the computer needs at the startup and if you re reset this memory it is uh, possible uh, that your computer gets started up. You would need to press several keys actually, which is uh, a little difficult. The keys are wide apart and uh, you would need to hold them, all of them, at the same time. And that is to hold down Option, Command and R and P and uh, power button and hold them you, you hear the chime and for, for the third time the uh, computer is getting restarted Yes, now release the keys and let the computer starts up. This is a kind of reset and you resetting 
the uh, non. volatile random access memory. So if the problem is because of the memory, you would be okay. So the computer would get restarted. My computer is not going to complete this process because its problem is hardware, not software. Let me turn that off. The third solution, imagine you did the SMC uh, solution and it didn't work. And you did the uh, memory solution, the NVRAM, and it, it didn't work either. Now it's time to check whether the computer can boot in safe mode. When you, when you try to boot in safe mode, you actually give the signal to the computer that certain operations should not be initiated. Uh, like you, you have certain applications or certain that appear at the startup and uh, the safe mode would uh, suppress those applications or those operations so there would be less load on the computer basically i mean the computer would it would be easier for the computer to boot to do this solution you would just need to hit the uh, power button okay you hear the power button and the shift. The moment you hear the chime, press shift. But trust me, I'm telling you, uh, the uh, safe mode is not going to uh, be working on this computer either. So let me shut it down again. Yeah. Uh, there's, a, there's also a safe mode that is called verbose safe mode. And that means when you start that, the computer begins to produce the data that would help identify the problem. To do that, you need to hold down Shift, Command, and V, and hit the power button. Shift, Command, and V. Uh, and hit the power button. Okay, we can see that. Look, <clears throat> this goes down for a little while. You would need to look at the data and may be able to find out about the problem. I will talk about this later because this helps me find out about the problem actually. This verbose safe mode 